67. That's still only one baby. No, right? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that's disappointing, huh? You wanted lots of babies to die. Pillager! I don't like babies. I don't like babies either. If I ever have a child, the only reason nope. with that would be for me to train them to be better than other people's childs. Pillager, that's the only reason that any not retarded person has a child. It's like, hey, you see that kid? That kid's a little shit, okay? You're gonna beat him at everything. You know, I got this one piece of advice from my mom when I was five I've never forgotten, and it actually just is probably the defining thing. Like, this is where this is where Dreadbuzz branches onto the path that makes him crazy. I was I was made fun of a lot when I was a kid because I was really fat for no reason. Oh, really fat? Like how fat? Oh, fat. <laughs> <laughs> really made fun of. Okay, so I got made fun of a lot, and I would always tell the teachers on duty on the playground I was getting made fun of. I didn't like it, and they should stop. And the teacher was like, "Did you make fun of? Uh, did you make fun, Derek? No. <laughs> Derek, do you tell stories?" No, you made fun of me. Derek, you shouldn't tell stories. Oh, little Derek was so mad. Five-year-old brown dread boss could have killed a bitch. <laughs> so I was very upset. This happened for like weeks. And I told my mom, and I was like, Mom, the teachers didn't, they don't help. But did you tell the teachers the kids made funny? Mom, what did I just say? Seriously? <laughs> no, I didn't do that when I was five. I was cute. I was... Oh, okay. My mom was like, okay, if you oh, are on the playground... Bad idea. Good job. If you are on the playground and these kids make fun of you, look around, make sure nobody's looking, and then punch them right in the wiener. Punch them right in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Pilger, that's not a boy part. Doesn't matter. And I was like, really, Mom? She's like, yes, if you do that, then uh, the kids will make fun of you. Yeah, no shit. Just kick them right where you can kick them. Actually, one of the phrases that I actually remember her saying is, make sure nobody's looking and then just plow them. Oh wow, your mom. Your mom was a woman. I was like, oh, well, I didn't actually say anything. I was like, oh. But later, later that week, the kids, the kids made fun of little Dread Boss. This was very round. Rolling to school. Oh, that's funny. I didn't roll to school, though. That's, that's mean. <laughs> the same kids made fun of me. So little Dread Boss looked around. Looked around and he kicked that kid right in the nuts. That's when it all started. It was all downhill from there. <laughs> it was all downhill from there. Uh, my little dread boss didn't realize how hard he could kick somebody in the nuts. He also didn't realize how loud little boys can scream. It's very loud. But little dread boss also didn't realize how fast a fat little dread boss can run away. And when that little kid pulled on him, Derek, did you kick him in his no-no parts and whatever the hell kid bullshit word she used? Little Dread Boss said no. No, he didn't. And that little teacher said, "What the hell your name is? Did you did you lie about him?" And he said no. And she was like, "You should lie about somebody else kicking you." Oh, and little Dread Boss smiled <laughs> so wide, there was never ever such a wider smile. I think the Grinch, the Grinch. That's a creepy smile. Anyway, that's a true story. Good job. I mean, nice story. I mean, whatever you say in this situation, fuck it. Good job. You know me. Pilger, it's your fault that I don't have any real friends. How dare you? How dare you? You dared. How dare you? Well, Pillager, you gotta pay some kind of price for having your net succeed 352 times. Oh, my entire social life! Okay, I see how that's a fair trade-off. 
Be right back. I need to go murder something and pee at the same time. Be right back. Hmm. Oh, let me finish my turn. That would be a challenge if you were trying to get it in the toilet. Not so much if you weren't. Not if I just shoved their face right in the bowl and sat on it and peed on them while they drowned. There's a fetish for that. <laughs> sure. So, Sanji, how are you? Fabulous.